This is a Maritimes MMA fan with uh, TJ Grant. How are you doing, TJ? Oh, good, man. You? Pretty good. Uh, the last time uh, we interviewed you, uh, fought, or you were getting ready to fight Bali, uh, Julio Polino. Yeah. And uh, you came out victorious, and now you have a huge fight ahead of you with Ricardo Almeida. Uh, what can you tell us about when you first found out you were fighting Ricardo? Well, yeah, I mean, it was like a week later. Uh, I was like playing Xbox on a Monday night. <laughs> I got the call from my manager, Scott, and uh, he said, uh, you know, you're, you're fighting December 11th against him. Made it's a pretty pretty big fight, you know, like we looked at it, like it's uh, the first time I've got a chance to fight a high-level jiu-jitsu guy, I mean, we fought like tough wrestlers and tough judo, everything, everything, every style really there is, but I haven't fought, uh, you know, a really good jiu-jitsu guy, so it's, it's interesting considering my background, but uh, I'm looking forward to it, he's a tough guy, he brings a lot to the table, and uh, we're going to really huge. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, he's fought guys like Ken Lopinov, Nate Court, some yeah. of the guys that are, you know, uh, in the middle weight division and they're you know on the rise uh, was there any concerns about his size or anything and being possibly a bigger guy I mean yeah, yeah like uh, he's a big guy but at the same time that was at 185 he's got to make a weight cut it's right. going to affect him like no matter what I mean you're cutting because he is a really thick guy and uh, you know that will affect you um, you know, I kind of look at it, what has he done at 170? He's been, he's been, he's been all right. I mean, he beat Matt Brown's a tough guy. And yeah. Losing to Matt Hughes is no, uh, nothing to be embarrassed about. But, you know, he's coming off a loss. And, uh, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking to uh, you know, let him know he's going to fight for the first, first second of the fight. And, uh, you know, try to just, you know, put him right back in that bad feeling he had when he got choked up by Matt Hughes. You know, that's where I want to put him in this fight. Yeah. Uh, so, in the Matt Hughes fight, uh, he came out aggressive and, uh, I was watching the fight, I was just like, wow, this guy might, uh, you know, dominate Matt Hughes, and then he hit that big shot from Matt Hughes, and that was pretty much it. But uh, uh, how have you been training for the fight? Have you been training for an aggressive Ricardo Almeida, or what has your training you know, process been? My, my, my training has just been to be, like, the best I can be right now, and uh, everything's sharp, everything feels good, my striking, my wrestling, my jiu-jitsu. Uh, I feel like it's the best training camp I've had leading up to any fight, and, um, you know, I feel in really good shape, and, and for me that's the key because no matter what he does, if I'm in good shape, I'm, I'm ready, and I can process everything in my mind and, and react the way I'm supposed to. Right. When you get tired, your hands drop, and you you you, you cross, you, you just do a bunch of bad things. And, uh, I don't want that to happen. So I'm yeah. looking just to be sharp and come out there and, and uh, you know put him in a fight. Right. So uh, uh, during your training camp, you actually uh, just recently went to Brazil. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we went to Novi now and got some like awesome. Training training in. Um, we are going to go to Brazil in November no matter what and it worked out well. I got the fight in December so we still, you know, we went down there and, and you know, what a great way to prepare for a guy like Almeida just because every single guy there is so good on the ground. Right. Um, you know, it was just it was, it was awesome training. Uh, something I look forward to doing more in the future going down there and uh, you know, it's a great team, great great atmosphere. It's like a, a family, they all there is training and it's, it's awesome. So look forward to it. That's awesome. So, so you yeah, went to Brazil, uh, what else have you done to prepare? Like have you brought in any key sparring partners or anyone that, you know, kind of copies Ricardo Almeida style or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been, uh, we've been training a lot here. Uh, Leo Santos came down last week. Uh, you know, and, and all the same guys uh, really that uh, you know help me out for every other fight. Right. Uh, put myself in a lot of bad positions because you, know, you gotta be comfortable. You gotta be able to get yourself out of them. So, Excellent. You know, I've been I've been really working on that a lot, and, and just you know trying to be the best I can be and uh, prepare for the worst for the best. You know. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, that fight's a week away. You're pretty much right in your weight cutting process right now. Yeah. Uh, what's you know what kind of mental strain does that have on a oh, it's, for me? It's not that bad at all. I, I like uh, I don't cut a, a massive amount of weight, so I like looking at guys when they're all like you know AIDS victims <laughs> like and they're rooms. yeah. You know I. I I, I hope he cuts a lot of weight. You know, like I hope I hope I see him limping before the, the weigh-ins. I don't I don't care. You know, yeah. I um, I've seen a lot of guys cut a lot of weight, but yeah. you know, it's a it's a three-round fight, and that's a well, I mean that it's a long time, and you know, I'm just looking to uh, come out there and let him know. Come out with a big win. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Uh, uh, his training camp is in New York, yours is in Nova Scotia. For the viewers that don't know, that's not really far away. Uh, mm -hmm. do, you, do you guys associate with their training camp or no. have any tension between? No, not not at all. Not I mean, at all. Uh, I, I uh, personally, like, I, I, 
he's a Henzo Gracie guy, and I've uh, had nothing but the most respect for you know Henzo as a as a fighter and just an ambassador for jiu-jitsu and, and uh, MMA. Um, and you know, I always cheered for Ricardo Almeida because he was a Henzo guy back yeah. then, back when you know the, the sport was so early in the, in the late '90s and early 2000s. I remember cheering for him. But you know, it's all you know, it's a business, and I got to go out there and do my job. And yeah. I'm gonna go out there and put on a good show, and uh, you know, I'll shake his hand after the fight. That's all. That's all there is to it. Awesome. So is this kind of like fighting one of your heroes almost? Would you say? Uh, you know, no. But I mean, fighting Henzo would be, but you know, I don't think that'll happen anytime yeah. soon. But uh, <laughs> you know. Um, Ricardo's just a fighter that you know, like you know, I always cheered for for the for the jiu-jitsu guys back in the day, and that was you know oh, yeah, one of the first like style versus style. But you know now it's a uh, sports evolved so much, and you know I'm I'm, I'm right there. I got to go and beat him. Yeah. Um, so that fight's in a week. Last night we just passed the tough finale, mm -hmm. the Ultimate Fighter finale, and uh, you seen Nan Fan get basically robbed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how did you feel about that? And like, are you ever worried about going to decision and you know yeah. getting robbed like that, or even winning like that? Nobody would want to win like that. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it does suck because it goes on his record as a loss. Yeah. I watched. Okay, I missed like kind of the first round. I watched a little bit of it, but the second round. Garcia was not effective with any of his haymakers, no. and um, Man Fan was boxing him, and then he lit him up. Oh yeah! So I thought the second round was 10-8 personally, but again, yeah. maybe not. Um, third round, I had even though Garcia was aggressive and hitting arms and stuff, he wasn't effective with his striking. Yeah. He didn't land anything clean, and uh, Man Fan was able to box and jab, and, and he looked like the fresher fighter, and I, I think that also can help you win a round. And I don't know what fight the judges been looking at, but you know they got openly criticized last night. I think that you know there has to be uh, somebody's got to you know control what who's judging these fights. The absolutely. boxing commissions aren't doing a good job right now. No, absolutely. I think as the sport grows, hopefully things start to get done about it. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like a policing body needs to be put in place for the judges and refing. Yeah, it's it bad. looks like this year for MMA has just been horrible for judging and refing. You know, and it's sad to see you know fighters like yourself and other guys go in and basically fight and eat, and you know, you lose, you don't eat. Yeah, I mean, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure the UFCs they, they they look after guys. Like, yeah, you know. Um, but uh, Nam Fan is nothing to be, you know, he fought, he fought a, a great fight. Yeah. Um, my friend actually made money on Garcia. Oh, I think, really? Yeah, I think he bet 100 bucks on him oh. or something. So, I yeah. don't know. He said he was a safe bet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ended up winning, but um, yeah. it's, you know, I think I think there's something needs to be done. Fighters go into a fight, and then they have their cornerman telling them. I, I watched the, the Johnny Hendricks fight, and he said, don't leave it in the judges' hands. Yeah. It's like... Well, guess what? These two guys can't get each other to the ground. Yeah. They, they, it's, it's one of those fights that you put two guys like that together, you know, and it's so close, and you know, and then you get your your corner trying to kind of get you away from your game plan because you don't want to go to the judges because yeah. you don't know if you're winning or not. Because yeah. What are the judges looking at? So yeah, exactly. It's tough. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank or anything like that? Oh, it's just, uh, I have, you know, a good, good amount of good uh, landscaping, uh, remote access technology, Echo, uh, Rivalis, uh, ATM Cash Bin, um, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, Fit Plus, all the guys at Fit Plus, and uh, Popeye's Health Supplements. You know, so you guys, I couldn't do what I do, so thank you. Perfect. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you fight. I'll be in the stands cheering for you nice and loud. So yeah, thanks a lot, man. Give it TJ Grant's for <laughs> Montreal for you. Hopefully and, I get uh, a little more, too. That's good. Absolutely. Good. And uh, hopefully after this fight, we'll be seeing you on main cards, on pay-per-views and stuff like that. So yeah, for yeah, sure, we're man. really rooting for you here in Halifax. Thanks a lot, thanks man. A lot.